Hi everyone, my name is Lucy Christopher and I work at the University of Tasmania teaching creative writing, which of course means that I am also a writer. And I write books for all sorts of different ages. I write books for adults, I write books for teenagers, and I write books for primary school age kids too. I am also really proud to be a reading champion for the Premier's Reading Challenge this year. There are so many reasons why I love reading. I first loved reading when I was quite little and I was an only child and my parents used to move house a lot. So my parents moved house about, I think about 20 times by the time I was about 18 years old. And some of those moves were from the UK to Australia and to other different countries as well. So I was spending a lot of time by myself. And so I started to read books because when you're in a book, you never feel like you're by yourself. You're with all these wonderful characters that you've become great friends with and you've become invested in their life. And you also learn about these different characters and learn about these different people and their lives as well. So I was quite a curious child and I think that came about from being a big reader as well. You might have just heard my dog Rocket making a noise, yawning, stretching, having a great time on the carpet over here, wanting to be a superstar, um, interrupting my very important things that I was saying about why I love reading. Um, and I'm also going to add to that why I love reading as he wanders off that I still love reading as an adult and much of it is for the same reason so when I read I go into different places in my mind I learn lots of different things but there's also something I've learned about reading is as my time as as a researcher at the university and I've learned that reading helps you to become kinder and the way it does that is because when you read, you imagine that you're in another person's mind and you imagine their feelings and you imagine how they need to solve their problems. And that creates what we call empathy. So that connection to another person. Rocket's still trying to steal my limelight over here. So there he goes. So my reasons for loving reading as an adult is because I like to be a person that connects with other people and I just really like the way that read a book your brain is going to be strengthened to becoming a kinder person so I mean how cool is that why wouldn't you want to read a book and become a kinder person so nature is really important to me as a writer and that is because I start with place when I write a story. So have a think, when you start a story, what do you start with? Do you start with a character? Do you start with a story? Do you start with a theme, an idea? Most people seem to start with a character. But I'm a bit weird in that I start with the place itself. And most of my books feature wild places wild nature in them and it becomes an important part of the story. So the Premier's Reading Challenge is just about to begin and it is a really cool exciting thing to do. So remember that the Premier's Reading Challenge is a personal challenge, it's not a competition. The idea is to read as many kinds of different things as you can read but also to really enjoy the kinds of things that you're reading. Spend that time just really being curious and thinking about what kinds of books and stories can I can I read? Would you like to read a book for um, for younger children perhaps? Would you like to read a comic book? Would you like to read a bit of non-fiction? Uh, would you like to read a comic or a graphic novel? It all counts in the, the Premier's Reading Challenge. So remember you can get these books and um, comics and all sorts of wonderful reading excitements from your school library but you can also get them from the public library and anyone can join a public library there's this really cool thing a library you can just turn up register make sure you bring your parents or your responsible adult with you you turn up with them you register and then you can borrow 
hundreds of books and it's so exciting you can just borrow all sorts of different books so that's what I encourage you to do go and investigate what you could read in either your school library or your public library or both and really enjoy the adventure of finding all sorts of different things to read